Excellencies and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to Chairman Greenstone for giving us the opportunity to deliver a speech for the announcement of the Arctic Circle Japan Forum to be held next March. The Arctic policy of Japan is composed of the three pillars, namely research and development, international cooperation, and sustainable use. The government of Japan has continuously enhanced cooperation for the Arctic, in particular in the field of science. Japan and Iceland co-hosted the third Arctic Science Ministerial, ASM3, in May 2021 in Tokyo, with the main theme of knowledge for sustainable Arctic. ASM3 made a great success thanks to the generous cooperation of the co-host Iceland, as well as the warm participation of Arctic and non-Arctic states and indigenous peoples. We have also started another process of cooperation for the Arctic, namely the construction of Arctic research vessel with icebreaker capacity. This research vessel will be an international platform for joint research, data sharing, and collaboration with monitoring programs of the participating countries. As you could see, the video running on the back screen is provided by Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology, JAMSEC. Russia's aggression against Ukraine should not delay our important tasks on the Arctic. The Arctic is in a critical situation due to climate change. Climate change is having global impacts as one of the serious threats to human security in, in the Anthropocene when human beings are changing the very trajectory of this planet. Science provides an important tool for us to tackle climate change. The government of Japan is mobilizing scientific data for the disaster management. With science, we are making a more precise prediction of typhoon course, for example. With science, we can make more contributions to the Arctic. We are looking forward to holding the Arctic Circle Japan Forum next March. Japan Forum will mean a lot for the Arctic as it will be the first Arctic Circle Regional Forum meeting in Japan. Asia has huge potentials for the world while being faced with serious challenges. With its high economic growth and population increase into the future, Asia needs to proactively address the climate change issue. I thank Arctic Circle for giving us a valuable forum for Asia and the Indo-Pacific and for the whole world. So I wholeheartedly welcome all the participants in the Japan Forum next March. Thank you very much. Well, I thank both of you.